There's two kinds of people in this world, those that have lost data and those that are going to lose data. And if you've ever felt that sinking feeling of plugging in a flash drive or booting up your computer, only to have the storage medium not be recognized, or if you've ever accidentally deleted a file or a folder, you may have considered sending your drive off to a data recovery center and paying as much as thousands of dollars for that data recovery. But not all data recovery is created equally. And you should know that there's many situations in which file recovery is easy and in my opinion, not worth paying hundreds or even thousands of dollars for. You might even be able to recover the data yourself in the comfort of your own home using some free software. For example, if you lost data due to accidental deletion, that's something that's relatively easy to take care of because on most file systems, when you delete a file, it doesn't really get deleted forever, even when you empty the recycle bin. For example, in Windows, the FAT file system marks a file directory's entries as unused, and it destroys the file allocation information, except for the beginning of the file. In NTFS, only the file entry is marked as unused, and the record is deleted from the directory, and the disk space is then marked as free. In most Linux or Unix file systems, only the file descriptor is destroyed. This is the information about the file location, the file type, the file size, and so on. And of course, it marks the disk space as free so that new data can be written to it. But as long as the data deleted doesn't actually get overwritten with any new data, you can easily recover it using a file recovery program like Recuva. And the same holds true if you accidentally format a hard drive, which is a pretty easy mistake to make on a multi-drive system. Despite the scary message that Windows will give you saying that all of the data is going to be destroyed when you format your drive, essentially what happens is the data just gets compressed down and hidden from normal access. The sectors on your hard drive are marked as available so that with normal use, the drive appears to have all free space on it and new data can then be written to it. So as long as new data doesn't actually get written to the drive and you have the right kind of recovery program, you can get your data back, hopefully completely intact, whether you deleted it or whether you formatted the hard drive. Now these are pretty easy software solutions to get around, but what if something more severe happens, like corruption of the file system itself? This typically occurs when the drive is suddenly disconnected during a read-write operation, like during a power outage, and it's also pretty common for it to happen on a removable disk. If you were to pull a flash drive out while well, files are still being transferred to it, and that's why you typically want to eject your flash drive through this notification button so that your operating system can fully confirm that there are no read or write operations occurring before you then physically remove the drive. If you ever encounter a disk with a corrupted file system, your computer is going to identify it as an unallocated space with no file system written to it at all. But of course, there is a file system here and there is data on it, it's just corrupted. So again, you're going to need to use a data recovery program like RStudio to scan the disk, identify what file system was in use, and then pull the data off of it. Although if you know for sure which file system was in use, you could skip that part and speed up the recovery process a little bit. You're then going to need another drive to temporarily store your data on it. But once all of the data is off, you can then reformat the drive using the same file system type that was used before and then move all of the data back onto it. And then the drive is essentially good as new with all your data intact. But what about when a drive has something worse than a software issue? What if it has a firmware problem? Well, if the firmware is the problem, then it's probably not something that you're going to be able to solve at home. Unless, of course, you happen to have one of these things. Because 
Your operating system, it is designed to work with a hard disk firmware that is, well, working. On a normal PC, it's not going to be able to detect the drive when the firmware is corrupted, but the RapidStar data recovery tool is designed to expect some kind of firmware problems. And so it is still able to read data off of a drive that has corrupted firmware. But then what about something even more severe than this? What about when your hard drive has a physical issue and you start hearing the clicking and scratching of doom? Hopefully your ears aren't bleeding too much from that clip. When this happens, specifically when you have a very rhythmic clicking like in the beginning of that video, it usually means that something is wrong with your drive's read-write head. It probably can't figure out where the data is supposed to start, so it spins up, attempting to read some data off of it, and then it fails, and then it starts up again in a continuous loop of failure. If something like this were to occur, you're probably going to need some professional help. What the professionals would typically do to resolve an issue like this is to take the drive apart, replace any components inside like the read-write heads from donor drives, and then they would make a bit-from-bit -bit copy of the data that's on the dead drive onto a new one once it is readable again and then they can give the customer this new drive with all of their data intact on it. But don't go disassembling a hard drive in your dad's garage once you start hearing that clicking and that scratching of doom. The read-write head on a drive sits just a few micrometers away from the spinning platter. That's a distance that is hundreds of times smaller than the thickness of a human hair. Because of this small distance, a drive must be disassembled in a clean room to prevent any dust from getting on it, because even a speck between the platter and the read-write head could completely destroy a hard drive. And these types of drive recovery, where there is physical damage to the read-write heads or the PCB or anything else like that, are really the only ones that are worth paying for, in my opinion. However, these kinds of data recovery are the ones that are going to be the more expensive. It costs a lot to build a clean room and the skills that are required for this kind of recovery are very specialized. But obviously it's going to be worth it if the data that you lost is worth a lot of money to you. So there's really only a couple of situations in which you're going to need professional help to recover data. Physical damage or corrupted firmware are the two main cases but just about any other problem can be solved with data recovery software. But of course, the best solution to any kind of drive failure is to just have a backup. So make sure that you do that before you lose your precious data.